What's going on YouTube? I've been thinking about this for a couple days now trying to figure out how to do an introduction for this video and I just can't seem to get it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do but I've been trying a bunch of different corny goofy stuff and come up with much of anything. Um, you know I just don't don't really know. Yeah so I don't know I just uh, it's just a typical 3D printing project. Can't really come up with the. It's crazy. Just can't figure it out. I'm run plumbed out of ideas. I mean, it's just horrible. Well, at least there wasn't a very good intro, but maybe the rest of the video will be decent. Let's check it out. Well, hello everyone. Um, I had done a time lapse of the design of this whole thing, and. Um, yeah, it would have just been like five minutes of sped up footage and it would have been kind of hard to see what I did and I don't think anybody would have got a whole lot out of it. So I figured I'd just run you through kind of the steps of the design of this and, um, you know, if you find it helpful or something, put it down in the comments that you enjoy this rather than just time lapsed video of of the design choices I made but we're here in Fusion 360 what we're looking at is just a SVG converted from a PNG right so what I did was I found a picture of a walleye um, essentially on its side I used PIG or PIC SVG dot com and it takes any photo you have PNG JPEG, anything like that, and I threw that in there to get the outline of the walleye. As long as there's a white background in the back, um, it'll export that to an SVG. So then all I did was import the SVG here with insert and insert SVG to this sketch. So I just went up to sketch and used the spline tool on this same sketch. So we're on sketch number one. And I just went through here and clicked the points on this this blue line here I went through and clicked the points to make those as nice and arching lines as possible and what that did was allow me to then make a, a pipe or a sweep or something that can cut out of the body so if we bring bodies back in you can see that right that spline line that goes around the inside is actually just an extruded pipe that's then then I just clicked it and moved it up and had it cut out of this so that pipe is the same as the um, essentially the fiber optic rope light I'll put a link for that down in the description too if that's something that you're uh, interested in um, super cheap I, th I think I got it off of uh, GearBest for like four bucks or something GearBest or Banggood but I'll put that in the description if you're interested in that so what this sketch is, is just dividing it into four parts that I know could fit onto the CR-10. So nothing over about 270 millimeters, just so I knew that it would fit onto the bed of the CR-10. And when you do that, you can just go here to modify, split body, and then you can choose the body you want to split. you got to have bodies on. But you can choose this body here, right? And then you can do the splitting tool and you just click which ones you want to have on there. It's already selected on one, but you have like this, right? So then that's going to split it into four separate bodies. And then those bodies end up showing up over here. And then you just say okay, and it splits those. So then after those four are there, right, we need to somehow index them. So on that same sketch, what I did is I came in here and all I did was make a rectangle that was slightly smaller than another rectangle and then that allowed me to push-pull with a cut function onto the body on the underside of where I was right so one press pull would cut and one press pull would join so then I would have this one be a join and this one be a cut so then I have a little indexed spot there I'll show you that with uh, 
like that. So it ends up being a little, let's see, put that body back, ends up being a little cut indexed in there. And that allows me to place those in perfect alignment. For mounting the, I guess it's a transformer for that little light, but it has a little box with it. That goes right here, so I just measured that and made a little cutout for it. Uh, similar with a press pull function, pull it up, it cuts it out for you after you have your original sketch. So the sketch is in here, you just press pull that out or in, and it cuts the body so we can have the bodies back up. You see the red, it'll cut out or that will extrude in, anything like that. Do that there, and then similar on here, I created um, just about an offset circle of about 0.3 millimeters, and that allows it to um, fit in there no matter the, the discrepancy with the printer, right? So if the printer's extruding a little more, a little less, you do one circle a little bigger, one a little smaller, and it uh, the tolerance then becomes enough for the clearance of the part. And then this extrusion, right, you do that all at once, Oops. Well, you can't see because I have bodies off. But you extrude this, and then you extrude the center, and you end up getting a peg. So then I did that in five areas of the sign that I thought would hold the sign up a little bit better um, away from the wall, right? So we have the line, um, the fiber optic light on the back and on the front so I wanted it off the wall a little bit so it would shine light on the back side and then what you end up with is this peg here that can recess into the back of the sign itself so then you just print five of the pegs and uh, this will have holes in it the size that this peg needs to get into so that's basically the nuts and bolts of it for the sign I've done this on a few other videos the actual engraved I guess you could say uh, embossed I suppose um, lettering here is a simple sketch so let's see if I can make this show up a little bit better it's just a simple sketch so I did um, my logo and then I imported it to PICSVG.com again had it export kind of a stylized version of that PNG I had and then what you do is you just split the face all the way down the body so once you have the body there you can go to I believe it's modify yep split face tool you choose the face you want to split then you choose the tool you want to split and you always start with the most interior split and you say okay and then you just do that for every split you want and once you do that you end up having each one of these parts as a split face so what we can do for example is come in here press pull this out right so then you go in and you press pull each one of those letters and they become um, embossed I think yeah embossed right sure embossed in there they're at a lower level than the than the top so that's about it in a nutshell if you got any comments about how i did anything put them down in the uh, comments below if you'd like this uh without my logo if this is something you'd like to print maybe uh, put your own name on there with a split face tool or if you'd like some of the files just let me know i'll throw them on thingiverse if this is something you'd think would be pretty cool yeah, so uh, let's put it together, and then I'll uh, recap at the end. Forget about signs and rules, oh, the payment and the long, long roads, yeah. And you're always in such a rush, mm, with your life playing from the stereo, oh. But all alone mm. And you're always staring at your phone 
You need another quick relief mm, We all need a turn and leave Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long, all night long Fishes in the stream mm. Down the boulevard of broken dreams So we'll make a little change in pay uh, A minor shift of time and space Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long Oh baby this time We'll be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem Well alright, so there it is Hitting the mic and everything. You might be able to hear a little feedback there over the microphone. For some reason, this green strip emits a kind of high pitch, low noise, but all the rest don't. I think it turned out pretty well. I think, anyway. So I'm all set for my rave or whatever I'm doing here but at any rate it comes in some white as well as purple so it's pretty useful uh, little strip lights they just plug in with a USB here I'll show you like that and they got their little transformer doodad there so I just have a laptop power in them right now seems to work pretty well so hopefully you got something from this I've been working like a dog for the last couple weeks uh, it's super late right now so I'm gonna try and edit this and post it on the old interwebs there so I hope you have a good night day morning afternoon wherever you are whatever time it is keep your amps up your filament dry <laughs>